Hi guys, this is DVader0086 here. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit, uh, like our, our blog, like our, our Twitter, like our Twitch. Um, like our, um, YouTube. So like and subscribe. Um, anyways, we're playing a game called Nanos. Nanos is an early access game. It's an early access hell. So early access hell means basically, um... Early Access Hell means, basically, it's been in Early Access. The last time this game was updated was 2015. And this is basically a, um, what we would call a, um, Arkanoid-type clone. So, Arkanoid is, um, like, like Breakout. Um, but it has way, it has power-ups in it. Breakout doesn't have power-ups in it, so it's a little bit more from a brick breaker, more of a, a power-up kind of thing. And so, you'd want to get this game if you want to break away from the norm for, um, uh, from, from any other, um, thing. And so this is the balls edition. So basically, every time that I, I lose an orb, which I will lose a lot, you will see, um, I have to say the word balls. So, um, anyways, this is an early access hell. The developers moved on to bigger and better things, developing different things and stuff like that. And, um, 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 Speedball power up. oh, crap, balls. Um, so he's not working on this game anymore. It's a very nice game. Basically, you could consider it to be a tech demo of a game that already exists. Um, <laughs> balls. Um, and I really wish he would have done more work on it, but he hasn't done any work since 2015. So. And this could be kind of hard. Anyways, I want to talk to you about our upcoming Twitch schedule. Yes, tomorrow, this is Thursday. Tomorrow we're going to be doing, oh, balls. Tomorrow we're going to be doing, um, a normal schedule. Uh, where I pick a random Level game. Oh, balls. Um, we could be doing a normal live stream plus a uh, key giveaway. And then Saturday is going to be Extra Life. And I'll go to Extra Life in a little bit. Um, but uh, um, basically, after the, the Friday after that, uh, we'll be doing Fridays in the, uh, Fridays in the morning. Um, so we'll be doing Overwatch. And then the following Friday, uh, we'll be... Um, I believe it's Paladins. So, um, and then of course we're going to be doing a random game and random key giveaway. Balls. Dang it. Um, oh, balls. <laughs> See, when this thing rotates, it switches it on me. I want to, I want to go, I want to move to the thing and it just plays games with your mind. Um, so we're going to be doing the random uh, giveaway later in the, in the thing. So it's 7, uh, at, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Pacific reverse time. Controls. Oh, reverse controls. Oh, shit. As if I already had problems with the controls as it is and they want to reverse them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing the, the normal live stream. So that's, um, and that kind of stuff. Then the next day, Saturday, not tomorrow, the next Saturday, um, we're going to be doing, uh, Bomber Knots. And then the following week, uh, on that Saturday, again at 9 a.m. Pacific time, uh, will be, um, I believe it's Brawlhalla. So, we're playing some Brawlhalla. Um, boss. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be getting some stability to our, our Twitch live stream stuff, uh, instead of just any old random game, plus a level <laughs> failed. Balls. Um, instead of any old, um, you know, any old thing plus a Steam key. So, also, we're going to be changing the policy on that. Regardless of whether somebody signs in, we're still going to give away a key. I know the last two times we've been... We had a key available, but we haven't given it away because nobody was talking to us. So, uh, we're still going to, regardless, give it, a, give, it a, uh, give a key away. So, don't forget to tune in for that as well, too. I know some of you have been disappointed. Um, which is rather unfortunate, but... Um, like I said, we don't want to disappoint our users. So, anyways, extra life. Uh, oh, <laughs> balls. Um, 
after tomorrow's live stream, it's going to be Extra Life. So, Extra Life is 24 hours worth of gaming. And it just happens to fall on Daylight Savings Time. So if you're in a Daylight Savings Time area, uh, don't forget it's 24 hours of gaming. Not from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. So uh, in the past, this is our fourth year doing it. In the past, we've done stuff for Team Tryon. We haven't made any money because people have not been so generous with the uh, money. And we've also done independent stuff as well, too. Um... And this is my oh, my balls. Uh, um. Um. So I mean, we have gamer friends, but we've got gamer friends that are poor, the cheap ass gamers, uh, and that's not meant to be an insult. That's that's their choice. Um, people that sell their games so that they can get food and that kind of stuff. Uh, so people really don't have <laughs> balls. Um, the money. And I can understand, if you don't have the money to feed yourself, why should you help a Level church? <laughs> Jeez. Balls. <laughs> why should you have the money to, um, why should you give the money to help a charity? Well, it's kids' hospital. Uh, and, uh, another reason we're doing this, um, new change this year is because, um, we were on team, team try-on for three years. First year, we didn't sign up. But they did give keys to people who were watching balls, <laughs> watching their live stream and stuff like that, which I think is pretty awesome, you know, um, you know, um, I believe they still give, uh, even this year, I believe they still give away keys and stuff like that at, at certain, when their, when their, um, stuff gets at certain intervals and stuff like that, which is excellent, um, but I, you know, I've got, <laughs> balls, I've got people who, um, have not, um, uh, smaller craft. oh, smaller craft, shit. Uh, I have people who, um, don't have a Twitch username, and, um, the second year we ended up, uh, going to bed early, we weren't prepared, and that kind of stuff, um, and, um, we ended up going to bed early, but they were giving away, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> balls. <laughs> Fucking balls. Fuck the balls. Uh, fuck balls. <laughs> that sucks. Um, this is a really hard level. Oh, this is a really hard level. And it just adds insult to injury every time I do it. And I'm getting close. So, hopefully... Hopefully... Um... Come on. This is the last one. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Level. Oh! Balls! Shit! Damn! Balls! Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Um. In the years past, we've had people who don't have Twitch new usernames, and that was awesome the first year. And it's too bad we didn't sign up. Second year, we signed up, but they only gave stuff to people who had Twitch usernames. So, they didn't give away free keys for everybody on their thing, you know, and the way that they do that is, oh, okay, well, you have to have a Twitch username, say something when we're going to give away a prize, there's a whole bunch of million people screaming, me, 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 um, and they pick one at random and they send them a key in the mail. Now, I've done and done lots and lots of try-on live streams, lots and lots of them, yes, they have events where you can go get cool things if you can find it, and, you can, and whatever it is, if you can server hop and go to their location. I think that's wonderful, uh, but besides that, I really hate the idea of a random number lottery drawing, because when you get one million people, and you're giving away an awesome prize, like, for example, when they first did Rift Free-to-Play, <coughs> um, when they first did Rift Free-to-Play, and balls, of course, <laughs> when they first did Rift Free-to-Play, they gave um, a certain level to somebody, and out of a million people, he won, and he wasn't very nice. He said, uh, suck it, losers, and I'm cleaning that up, because I'm sure he said something even nastier. Um, and Tryon is, is a company that I have issues with. They're like, they're, they're, <laughs> balls. Um, they're a little bit like Blizzard for me. Um, but the, the problem is not with the, with the, <laughs> balls. That was dumb. 
Um, the problem's not with the games and the way that patches are deployed, it's with the company practices. And I understand the company doesn't want to be too generous or whatever it is that their excuse is, but, um... Level <laughs> Balls. Um, I don't know what it is with them, but, I've, you know, I have just about as much of a love-hate relationship with them as I do with Blizzard. Um, you know... And I found myself keep keep getting drawn back to their games, and I know I've said, oh, I'm never going to play their games again. But look, I'm back on Trove, I'm even back on Defiance, which is still pretty messed up. Uh, and, and it really sucks for lower level characters, but at least, you know, because of the threat level increase, and I can't handle it, and I die, die, die. So, um, that's the way it is, apparently. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um... So the second year, they, they um, gave people uh, keys like that, and um, that's fine. It's their choice. Um, third year, I think they also did that, and they also gave some away at levels. So if you were a member of Team Tron and you reached a level, <laughs> and that's what really irks me is because of the fact that I'm not, I don't have the advantages that other people have. I don't have people that are uh, have the money at the beginning of the month with a giving heart. You know, people that would don't need that money at the beginning of the month. Uh, things are tough. I understand that. Uh, balls. Um, but I can honestly say that's not really very fair. It's like when I went to camp, and I know, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, life isn't fair. Balls. Um, life, life isn't fair. I understand that. Um, but we used to have this camp. Um, in which they would go ahead and they would give a uh, stuffed animal. And I don't know why I made a, such a big complaint about a stuffed animal. Maybe it was... I was a spoiled kid. Um, but, you know, you bring a, a person to camp... Level fail. <laughs> balls. Uh, you bring a person to camp, they sign up for camp, they get a stuffed animal, and they get a stuffed animal. Blah, da, 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 da. Well, we're kids. You know, we care about stuffed animals. So, um, maybe, maybe kids today, not so much. But it's like getting a free iPhone. Oh, okay. Your kid comes to camp, you get a free iPhone. You know, whatever it is. Oh, yay! Or Nintendo 3DS, or I guess back then Game Boy would have been the equivalent, but still. <laughs> um, but it wasn't fair. And yeah, life isn't fair. But, again, you know, if I'm working my ass off here, and like I said, the first year I didn't participate, second and third year I did, if I'm working my ass off... Um, and yeah, it's for a great cause, and I don't come up with Dime 1. I shouldn't feel like, uh, just getting an in-game title is my only reward. You know? So. That's, that's just me. So. Thank goodness for Magnetized Craft. Um, so this year is the first year that we're not, um, um, doing Extra Life. Uh, with, tr to with Team Tryon. Or following their live stream and balls. <laughs> My orbs. Um, and um, that's the way it is. So what we are doing is we're recording YouTube videos once an hour. Um, no, we're not doing a t live stream. I really wish we could, but balls, <laughs> first of all. Um, and um, what we're doing is we're recording a YouTube video. Um, <laughs> <Level fail. laughs> um, we're doing a YouTube video, um, once every hour for a half an hour. So it's a total of 12 hours of footage for 24 hours of extra life. So there you go. Um, and we're going to be doing, we have no set schedule. I know in the past we've had a set schedule, like we're going to be switching to a game, Play this game for four hours and switch to a game, that kind of stuff. And we've encouraged you guys to play uh, free-to-play MMOs and stuff like that, or <laughs> balls, or not free-to-play MMOs. Um, but this year, me and my teammates, uh, and you might hear them in the background, um, will be doing various different things. Now, I'm going to be the only person recording, because I'm the only person that has any interest in it, but at least there's going to be other people that you'll be able to hear doing different things, you know, that kind of stuff. So please bear with us. Uh, also with Extra Life, there is heavy strain on Skype, heavy strain on Twitch, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, uh, I've had it where servers had to come down for maintenance on games, so... 
um, that's another reason we're sticking to the half an hour thing, because they'll say, oh, okay, well, it's coming down in 10 minutes. Well, switch to a game, switch to a different game, and then do a half an hour thing, and they're going to be back up in, in, you know, an hour or so, something like that, well, then there you go, now you can play it. So, uh, plus it gives us a half an hour break. <laughs> um, so we're going to be uploading that on Tuesday. Um, we'll check that back. Okay, so we talked about our Twitch live stream. We talked about that. Uh, a little bit about the game itself. Yes, I should have done this first. I realize that I'm an idiot, but I've got so much on my mind. Um, that, um, uh, come on. There we go. Um, got so much on my mind here that, um, oh, I might actually, I might actually get this one now. Come on. Come on. Yes. One more. One more. I can actually pass this level. I've been on this level forever. Come on. Yes. Oh, that was close. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, nice. Now, this is only going to get progressively difficult. Not going to die six times. Um, this is a game about uh, a scientist that created this micro machine that goes inside your body. And these are cells, I assume? Bad cells? Good cells? I don't know. I'm not really following the story too much here. I, I thank the developer for creating a story. I'm sad to see that you can't play any other mode other than story mode. I don't even know if you can play with four players with story mode, because the multiplayer function is completely disabled. <laughs> Balls. Um, it has no way for you to create your own stuff. Uh, it's pretty much a barebone, um, in hell, um, early access game with no plans, as of I can see, um, coming forth. So, and like I said, he's he has moved on to different projects. Um... So, I don't know where this developer is, maybe he's just running out of ideas, but it's... It's a more advanced, Arknoid, DO IT AGAIN! Um, kind of thing. So, oh, and I must have lost a ball, and I didn't say balls, I'm pretty sure. Balls! <laughs> I let it slip. Um, and, um, it's more advanced. I like that. I like that about the game. I, I like games that take a simple genre and redefine it, and this definitely does redefine it in a way that is very challenging. Not so particularly engaging. I love the background. The musics can get repetitive. So, um... Like, for example, this soundtrack, you know... It sounds like he's doing a lot of the same sound effects over and over. It's a short clip on a loop. That's what it sounds like to me. So, I don't know. Guns are active. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Crap. They only give you three shots, though. That's silly. I don't want that one. So, like I said, it's got power-ups in it. It's like Arknoid. Maybe I'll actually pass this level, too. Gotta build up those orbs. Oh, rotate. Okay. So, I would honestly say... Um, oh! <laughs> Not being... Um, I would honestly say this is... Um, <laughs> balls! That sucks. Uh, I would honestly say that this is not a uh, genre-defining game, but it does put an interesting twist on it, you know? I like games that take a basic concept, something that's already been done, and puts an interesting twist on it. Um, <laughs> and balls. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> um, games like Minecraft, let's just put it this way, um, games that create a brand new genre, uh, come once in a lifetime. And, um, like Super Mario Brothers, um, they didn't have platformers like that, let alone the speed, or people that are dedicated to it enough to actually do speed runs and post them on YouTube, and actually, boss, <laughs> actually care about a, a 0 .05 second better time, um, so that they can be in Guinness Book of World Records. That's a dedicated community right there. Okay, there we go. 
this is his story here. Okay. So yeah, these are nasty cells. Um, so, I mean, I think this is a very nice game. Um, I think that, um, I think that, um, it provides an interesting twist on the genre, especially the rotating thing, and I know the boundaries do change at later points in the game. There's, <laughs> there's different pictures and stuff like that. Um, and I've played some other Breakout games, like Breakout Invaders and stuff like that, and this is an interesting twist. This is not really combining two different genres together, um, like that game that you can find <laughs> that combines Pac-Man, Space Invaders, and Pong, which is you can have a paddle on each side, and you, and you have to hit Pac-Man back and forth, and when you move the, the paddle up and down, you control Pac-Man as he's going through the maze. <laughs> And uh, when you move left and right, you can shoot the invaders as they're approaching the paddles. So the paddles you can lose if you uh, let Pac-Man go out of bounds. You can lose if the space invaders um, kills your paddle. You, <laughs> you can lose if you get killed by a ghost and don't have a power pellet for Pac-Man. Um, it's a very interesting twist, a very wacky twist on a game. Um, I've never seen one that combines all three. It's a very interesting play. Um, <laughs> I would suggest you give it a try. Uh, <laughs> um, at least this is taking one and and messing around with it enough. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, that's the thing I don't like about it is... is Speedball. Speedball. <laughs> <level fail. laughs> oh, <level fail. laughs> um, you know, I like it where you can try all over and it gives you another... <laughs> Four lives, basically, um, before you actually lose. Um, if you go on to another level, but if you run out of them, and like you said, I've, I've had like five chances instead of this four. Um, or maybe no, maybe it was uh, yeah, it was six, I think. But it still didn't help me. It can be hard, and um, my <laughs> my visual acuity is. Um, when it's up upside down, um, it switches, and you know I want to go left, and I'm moving. It could stick left, but I'm moving right instead because you have to remember it's <laughs> upside down. It's rotating. It's like there's a certain point where I start messing up. So and because of this <laughs> stupid rotating field. All right. Oh balls. Okay, game over again. I'm gonna give up. But, um, this has been a fun night. Uh, so, yeah, um, we're gonna be dropping at least, um, <laughs> 24 hour, uh, 24 videos on YouTube come Tuesday. They're all gonna be up by Tuesday. Um, no, I'm not gonna spend the whole entire weekend uploading them. I'm gonna try to spend all Monday and most of Tuesday doing it. Um, and we'll just take it from there. Um, so we're going to be doing some additional videos tonight. Um, got Combat Core, another early access Level game. <laughs> balls. Balls, balls, balls. Got Combat Core coming up um, next. And we've got some other games uh, in the mix. So um, keep it tuned. See you later, guys.